We are going to analyze which of these two projects has the chance to succeed more. We are going to make a comparison between the Pi network and the B network. As you probably know, the process of mining is an essential and central aspect of many cryptocurrencies. The technology that is power intensive, time consuming, space taking, hardware damaging proof of work is really originally meant to decentralize the digital world. But unfortunately, the result of that is some groups and people are now controlling massive parts of those particular currencies, and others are just left on themselves. And what is even more interesting is that most of the people that are owning the bitcoins or the mining machines are the ones that are already very rich. In the last year, we have seen that the cloud-mined mobile-based currencies begun rising in the crypto world. Their goal is to allow more people to have access to cryptocurrencies and their intention is to prevent a small fraction of the users from hoarding a massive fraction of the total supply of those currencies. These cryptocurrencies do not need equipment of massive amounts of data or electricity to mine. In this video, we will be looking at and comparing two very similar mobile-based cryptocurrencies known as the Pi Network and the B Network. Which one is better? Which one should you look into? Before starting the video, we would like to inform you that today, you can get up to $2,800 bonus on the exchanges Bybit and Femex. And getting this money is really a piece of cake. All you need to do is click the links down in the description, sign up, and make your first deposit. You shouldn't miss this chance. It is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Let's start our video. First of all, we're going to look up to each network and see their similarities. The Pi project is launched on May 14th, 2019. And this network describes itself as the first digital currency which anyone can mine on their phone. Instead of using huge amounts of electricity to solve very complex computational mathematical problems like the technology of Bitcoin and many more, the Pi network secures the network through security circles where members vouch for each other's trustworthiness. So, the trust is the central point of this coin. The Pi Network is a mobile-based cryptocurrency project that was initiated by a group of professors and graduates from the Stanford University in California, the United States of America. This is some of the guarantee that is not a scam and a project of some high scholars. The mining of Pi is very easy. All you have to do is to install the app for Android or iOS. The coins in the Pi Network are obtained by downloading the Android or iOS Pi Network app, signing up and pressing Start Mining only once a day to receive some coins. This seems really easy, isn't it? Currently, Pi is by invite only, so you have to use someone's referral code. One of their good ideas is that you are going to increase your mining rate by increasing the people in your mining team. While this probably sounds like one of those Ponzi schemes or referral schemes, it is not at all risky as the app is free to download and use and any app on the Apple App Store is likely not malicious or damaging. At this point, it appears the Pi Network is simply trying to rapidly increase its user base. To start earning Pi, check in every 24 hours and hit the lightning button to start mining. Once you are mining, you can boost your hourly rate by inviting trusted friends and family to join the community. After three days of mining, you can boost your earnings more by building your security circle, which contributes to the overall security of the network. Keep in mind, earlier members of the network mine at a higher rate than those that come after them. Once users join the Pi network, they can play different roles to contribute to the network. The four available roles for Pi are Pioneers that are regular Pi users that sign into the app, mine, and validate their presence. Contributors are Pi users that provide a list of Pioneers that they trust. This role becomes available to Pioneers after finishing three mining sessions. To become a contributor, users need to include three to five other users in their security circle. Ambassadors are Pi users that bring new users to the Pi network. They can earn up to a 25% bonus on their base mining rate for each person they successfully invite. Nodes are users that are pioneers or contributors that use the Pi mobile app and run the Pi node software on their computers. That is basically all you should know about the Pi network. The crucial thing that you should know is that you do not have to invest anything. The application is free, the mining is free, and anything related with Pi Network is free. It is true that their coin is not on the market yet, but literally, you have nothing to lose. So, for those people who have used the Pi Network or are familiar with it, the B Network will look and seem suspiciously similar to the Pi Network. 
Even the interface shows a lot of resemblance alongside the roadmap and objectives. Launched in December 2020, the B network is a clone of the Pi network with a focus on gaming. As a result, it is very similar to the Pi network. The most notable similarities include the mining procedure, having schedule, and roles users can play in the network. In addition, the B network rewards its users with B, the network's token. Not much information is available at the project's technical details as its white paper consists only of the introduction, project vision, and basic project details. In their white paper, you can find out this kind of information. B Network is a Decentralized Autonomous Organization, DAO, organization whose essential operations are automated agreeing to rules and principles assigned in code without human involvement. The naming of B Network is inspired by the concept of hive mind taken from the reputable publication Out of Control, The New Biology of Machines, Social Systems, and the Economic World by Kevin Kelly. Hive is taken as the metaphor of hive mind given its structure. There is a clear division of labor in which each individual honeybee has its own role and responsibility, and they all work together systematically and spontaneously to ensure the smooth operation of the hive in the absence of a central authority. This self-sufficient ecosystem has the following characteristics. 1. Recognition in the existence of individuals and modules within the organization. Individuals and modules own a high degree of independence, yet maintain close contact with each other. Independence means that each module has its own division of labor and close contact means a convenient way of communication between related parties. 2. Powerful accommodation ability within each module. Each module is able to maintain its equilibrium by accommodation in the absence of central authority. 3. Unified objective and unique capability of individuals and modules. In order to fulfill the characteristics stated above, each individual and modules share the same objective and each of them would contribute to the objective in their own way. For example, some independently extract honey, while some independently work as pathfinders. Like in the Pi network, the users in the B network can play different roles as well. There are only three roles that users can play, which are, pioneers are the same as the pioneers in the Pi network. They sign into the B app and mine. Ambassadors are the same as the ambassadors in the Pi network. They invite new users to the B network and into their team. The B network claims that ambassadors will be able to complete missions with their team members in upcoming in-app functions. Verifiers are similar to the contributors in the Pi network. Verifiers verify the identity of the members and confirm that the members are trustworthy and not fraudulent. The B network team will launch this role in the future and require everyone to complete Know Your Customer KYC verification before utilizing the full functionality of the B network. So, as a conclusion, both apps and networks are very similar. Both apps are free, and the mining process is done by your own mobile device. Even though Pi Network is older, that does not necessarily mean it is better. But in some things, it turns out to be better. The invasion on your privacy with the Pi Network is smaller than with the B network. The B network wants to enter your camera, contacts, and much more while the Pi network does not ask you for those kinds of permissions. On a positive note, B network has a clearer roadmap with clear milestones based on the number of users. Whatever you choose to work with, you can find benefits and downsides. But the most important thing that you should know is that you are risk-free. That is why, in our opinion, you can start working with both of these apps. If you like this video, please share it with some of your friends. That is our way of continuing the research for you. See you in the next one.